What's up everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can take a bike rack or really anything that fits into a two inch hitch receiver and convert it to a one and a quarter inch receiver. We've got two vehicles. I recently purchased this bike rack. It fits a two inch receiver and I wanted to be able to carry it on my other vehicle which has a one and a quarter inch receiver. So uh, this is the bike rack that we're going to be using as an example today and hopefully this video can help you out. So just so you know, or so you have an idea, this is what I'm trying to do, right? I've got my bike rack. It fits nice and cleanly into my two inch receiver, my hitch receiver here, and it slides into place, right? So no problems there. I bought this bike rack knowing that this was gonna fit this vehicle's hitch receiver uh, really easily. And of course we lock it into place. Here's what it looks like on vehicle one, right? No issues. So the question, how do you put it into this vehicle, which has a one and a quarter inch hitch receiver? To do so, you're gonna need one of these handy little things. I will put a link in the description below if you're interested in picking one up. It basically converts those sizes for you. So how does it work? You're looking at it. You take one end and you put it into the smaller one and a quarter inch receiver, hitch receiver, just like this. You slide it in and you will lock that into place with the pin or with a lockable pin. If you want a lockable pin, again, I'll check, I'll put a link in the description below. Highly recommended, that way nobody can just take this off and walk away with it, right? For the purposes of this video, I'll just show you how this works. So we will undo the pin on the bike rack with uh, vehicle A and carry the bike rack over here to vehicle B. And we've got our little converter and we will just slide that two inch bike rack into the two inch receiver, converter receiver. All right, and we'll line up the holes like you can see here. Pretty simple, right? And of course, lock it down with your pin. Now be careful, you have to read the instruction manual very well. You do lose some towing capacity and some strength if you use this receiver. Check out the specs down below if you're interested in learning more. For example, if you're hauling something that's heavy, you might have to compromise there. But that's it, pretty simple job. Hopefully this video has been helpful. If you're interested in more do-it-yourself projects or product reviews, be sure to subscribe. Have a good one.